Hey everybody, I hope you are all staying safe and healthy and at home during this very weird time. Um, I myself have been reading a lot and um, one of the things I saw in the news is how during this quarantine uh, animals have been coming to the city more since all the people are inside of their homes. Um, so today I thought I would read an article about animals in the city. And afterward, I have a few questions for you to complete and send to Sara. So listen carefully. Okay, so animals in the city. One night in December 2011, a bear came into the city of Vancouver in Canada. It walked through the city streets past houses, shops, and offices. Then it found some food in bins outside a restaurant and started eating. In the morning, someone saw the bear and called the police. The police came with a vet from the city zoo. They put the bear in a lorry and took it to the mountains outside the city. Luckily, the bear was safe. But what happens in other countries when big animals come into cities? In Vancouver, it is unusual to see a bear. But in some cities, you can see big animals on the city streets every day. Big animals usually come into cities to find food. In Cape Town, in South Africa, baboons come into the city when they are hungry. They go into gardens and eat fruit from trees. They even go into houses and take food from cupboards and fridges. Baboons are strong animals, and they can scare people. But the city can be dangerous for baboons, too. Sometimes, cars and buses kill baboons in accidents. Human food is very bad for the baboon's teeth because it has a lot of sugar. Now, there are baboon monitors working in Cape Town. Their job is to find baboons in the city and return them to the countryside. In Berlin, in Germany, pigs sometimes come into the city to look for food. They eat flowers and plants in parks and gardens. Sometimes they eat vegetables from gardens and they walk into the streets and cause accidents. Some people like the pigs and they give them food and water to drink. Other people do not like the pigs and they want the government and the police to stop them from entering the city. In Moscow, in Russia, there are 35,000 wild dogs. The dogs live in parks, old houses, markets, and train stations. Some dogs live in groups and others live alone. Many people in Moscow like the dogs. They give them food and water. Some people make small houses for the dogs in their gardens. This helps the dogs in winter, when the temperature in Moscow is negative 10 degrees Celsius, and there is a lot of snow and ice. Many animals live in cities. In some cities, you can see birds, insects, mice, and squirrels every day. But sometimes it is dangerous when big animals come into cities to find food. We need to find ways of stopping animals coming into the city without hurting them. Okay. And that's it. So I have some questions for you to answer about animals in the city. And afterward, again, you can send those to Sara. Um, I hope in the meantime that you are staying safe, staying inside, and hopefully not forgetting your English. Keep watching movies with English subtitles or, you know, English language, I hope. <laughs> um, and I hope I can see you soon. Bye.